a Desert Community Watch. Coming to you from the uh, city of El Cajon, California, here in the county of San Diego. About to do this Border Patrol station. Anyways, I was, I'm going to do this border patrol station here next to Gillespie Airfield here in the city of El Cajon. And right behind me is also a Caltrans. I'll probably be hitting them up to see how they behave. But I'm going to be doing this border patrol station. It's all tucked away right here next to the airfield and this is the San Diego Aerospace Museum, Gillespie Field. So we'll see how this border patrol acts by the camera. And there's only uh, sidewalk access, but you can see a little bit over, it looks like. This is the US border patrol, this white building coming up. cameras too. Uh, right adjacent to uh, Gillespie Airfield. Overcast day, it was raining in the high desert when I left early this morning. Not hard. Right here next to these freeway interchanges. Dedicated in honor of Border Patrol officers that have served Oklahoma Border Patrol Station presented this 6th day of December 1984. Got three flags up, the United States flag, they got the Border, U.S. Border Patrol flag, and the POW MIA flag. You can see the airplanes see if I can show you
There's the airfield back there. See that one landing? And it's right here next to the museum. Here comes somebody. Somebody's not happy. At least the flag's flying now. There's a little bit of wind. This exit, and he saw me, so he went around. So this guy here is afraid. They are doing good, so I'm not going to stick around too much longer. Uh, I think we're about to have contact. Crash here. Sir, can I help you? Did I ask you for help? I didn't ask nobody for help. Then why are you filming it just leaving the gate? I'm being free. What's your problem? It's intimidating, sir. Why are you, why are you doing this? Then don't be a pussy. It's intimidating. A camera? You guys don't like the First Amendment? You don't like freedom? How does a camera intimidate you? You be what's, what's, uh, what I understand is why you're standing out there specifically filming agents as they, as they leave. Agents when they leave, are you sure that's what I'm filming? What is it you're filming, sir? None of, none of your business. Who are you that I should answer to? You, you're employed by us. You work for us. So do you. What's your name and badge number? My, my name is David Header. Okay. H-E-T-D-R. Agent Linares. So where do we go from here? Well, can you explain to us what you're doing out here? Yeah. i give you guys three guesses. If you guys are so brilliant, I got a camera in my hand. Well, we, we see that. that you're filming. What's your purpose for filming agents? I don't have to. Area? I don't have to tell you anything. It's a it's a lawful activity protected by the First Amendment, which you swore an oath to. So if I was you, I would get calmed down, go back inside, and go back to work like you're supposed I to. Might not come. So I can hear your breathing. Excuse me. Come on. Walk by. You guys don't like freedom, do you? Don't and you're intimidated. You're such a wimp. A, is that the is that what this country's become? When, when agents are going home. I don't give a fuck that the display, your license plates are publicly displayed for a reason. So everybody can see them, Einstein. Now don't bother me no more, I'm, I'm doing a story. Everything would be fine, I would give the respect if he didn't come out back and like an asshole like he did. That badge, all that stuff, bro, you work for us. You're sure. a public servant. No, you don't come I'll, up. I'll, I'll you came up disrespectful and now that's what you get. So shut up and go back to work. How is that disrespectful? You're trying to tell me that a lawful First Amendment protected activity is intimidating to you. That was your pussy. That's First, not my I fault. You, That's not my I fault, man. You That's not my fault. Your dad didn't fucking raise you right. What happened to the men in our country, man? You guys scared over a camera? You guys think my freedom is, is, is risking your life? How dumb. Get your shit together, man. I'm going to stay out here as long as I want, because I'm free. 
Call the cops if you want. They can educate you. you. Can't turn a fucking First Amendment protected activity to something suspicious or something you're going to come harass me for, man. Learn the damn law. It's a lawful activity. You cannot make this suspicious. Go back inside, get your ass back to work. Tease Louise. I'm 53, man. You ain't gonna come up. No, no. I'm 53. You ain't gonna come up to me like you're fucking, I'm your property and demand answers when you're a public servant and you get paid by us. Okay? So slow your roll, kick rocks, suck it easy, and go back to work, man. Come up to me like that, man. I'm a man. I'm free. The fuck are you to come and tell me that? What I'm doing threatens you. That's your problem, man. My rights aren't subjected to your feelings. And you know that. It's law enforcement. If there's no law being broken, you got no business enforcing anything. He was respectful, at least. At least he was just curious, but you come up acting like a dumbass. It's a men's world, bro. You ain't gonna get no respect. You don't give no respect. You thought that because you had a little badge and you worked for the Border Patrol, you were gonna come up and I was gonna lick your boots? That's what you thought, huh? Because you'll see the video when I post it. You'll see how you acted. Shame on you, man. You guys go back inside, go back to work, man. It's just a camera. If that's how afraid you guys are, can I tell you guys something? If this is how afraid you guys are, then the terrorists already won. If you think my freedom is, is, is so scary, the terrorists already won and you guys failed. You guys failed your country, man. Shame on you guys. Yeah, it is when you hear what the, what he said and then you come up demanding answers. If I'm on the sidewalk, it's none of your business. Leave people alone, man. I'm not on your property. Has nothing to do, what goes on on the sidewalk has nothing to do with you guys. Absolutely nothing to do with you guys. You are filming us. It doesn't matter. I'm from, it, the way the First Amendment works, as long as I'm in a public place, it doesn't matter. You can't trespass what I see. Understood, but you're telling us it doesn't have anything to do with us. It doesn't. It doesn't. What I do has nothing to do with you, but what you do has everything to do with me because we pay you. Right, but you are filming us. So it's yeah, that is that is a lawful activity. No, it is not. No, it's not. I just proved to you that I just proved to you that it doesn't because you're going to go inside and go back to work, and this is none of your business. I just proved that to you. I've been proving it to you for seven minutes. If you would have went back inside, I would be gone. It's a perfectly lawful activity, but it does have to be. What I do has nothing to do with you, man. What I do has nothing to do. You are mistaken. Unless I go on your property, it has nothing to do with you. Well, then you guys should act better so the people... Then what are you guys doing that doesn't make... That makes the people mistrust you guys? See, that's that's your own actions. You can't pass the buck. No, no. Your own actions get your guys' hurt. All the rapes and all the abuse that goes on. I, I read a story, man. I know. But the hatred that you guys and law enforcement get, you guys earn it every day by people like this guy who assumes that because he works for us that he has authority over us. He came up all huffy and puffy demanding to ask, I'm 53, man, I got 20-year-old kids. You think I'm going to answer a punk like that that comes to the street just asking me what I'm doing? Who the hell are you, man? He has a perfect right to ask you what you're doing when you're standing there. And I have a perfect right to tell him to fuck off. Okay, and, then, and then, so here we go again. Back to square one. If you guys go back inside, I'll leave. You have a good day. Yes, David, okay? My name's Philip. And that's the walk of shame, guys. Now your fucking property. You don't have to answer your questions. You can leave now. Next time, don't come out. That chunky boy regrets coming out and soap in his mouth. Should I just keep going? Especially when he's got a government vehicle.
I had a community watch. I just flipped them off. He didn't like it. I'm out. <laughs>